In this video we're going to look at how to publish uh, messages to an MQTT broker and to subscribe uh, to messages from an MQTT broker uh, using Node-RED. So here we are in our Node-RED uh, control panel and I've started a new flow, Flow 3. Now before I configure this I just want to disable the other two flows to, so they don't uh, interfere with this demonstration. So to do that I just double click Flow 2 and disable and done and I go to flow one and double click that and disable and done so those flows are now disabled you can see the icon there has changed so let's start with flow three uh, the first thing I'm going to do is drag an inject node into here and I'm going to use that to inject messages and then I'm going to have an MQTT input node this is a subscribe node and scroll further down and we're going to have a debug node and then we're going to have an MQT publish node here. Now let's wire those together so this is going to publish a message and this is going to display the message so this is our subscribe MQT this is our publish and we're going to send a message into it so let's configure that first I'm going to send a string and the topic is going to be sensor sensor 1 and the payload is going to be open we're going to simulate a, a simple sensor maybe a door sensor open and closed Okay, let's just give it a name sensor one and we're done. So there it is there. And now let's configure our MQT publish node. So double click there. Now we need to edit this and add a new, a new broker to it. So click edit and I'm going to use, that's where my uh, mosquito broker is and I'm going to use the standard port. I'm not using secure sockets layer. I can leave this blank and it will auto generate one but I'm going to create one myself and it's going to be test. Now security username and password I don't need it in this instant. Birth message uh, this is useful if you're not using the inject node this is this message will actually be sent when you deploy this uh, node uh, but I'm going to use the inject node to do that so I don't need this and the will message this is last will and testament and that happens if you uh, get forcibly disconnected or you, the connection drops and you have the last will message uh, sent from the server and that's covered on the site I'll give you a link if you want to read about the last will message okay and then just add uh, I'm not configuring a topic and I'm not configuring a quality of service I can set it to zero one so I'm leaving it as default be default to zero and at the moment I'm not using a retain flag now the topic is going to be set from the inject node so when we saw that I configured it to sensor sensor one that's the topic and the message is going to come from the inject node so I don't need to configure a message so that's that done there the subscribe node we're going to subscribe to sensors and I'm going to use a wild card there. Quality of service I go back to zero. It's actually defaulted to using the same client I just noticed I spelled it wrong. Uh, let's edit it. and that's all I need to do for the subscribe node if I go back to the publish node here you can see it's changed the the client ID so we've done that notice the blue circles the same we're all configured now all I need to do is to deploy this so click deploy 
and straight away we're connected you can see here connected on the publish and connected on the subscribe now they're using the same client so it's a single client connected to the broker that it's not using a separate client to connect uh, to subscribe and a separate another client to publish it's using the same client to publish and to subscribe so let's put the debug over there and let's test it out by clicking on here and you can see I've got the message come through click again and there's the the message so very simple publish and subscribe now with this inject node here I can get it to repeat so I can set it to repeat every five seconds and deploy it and we should see it coming up over here every five seconds there is there again and that there again so let me just disable that now so in the example we've just done we published and subscribed using the same client ID so how do we publish and subscribe using uh, another client ID a second client and we may need to do that if we're connecting to a different broker but I'm going to show you how to do it we're going to connect to the same broker but we're going to connect with a different client ID so we're going to have two clients connected to the same broker so I'm going to use the publish node for this so I just drag the publish node over here double click it to edit it and we need to go to add new broker here and that becomes blank and then we enter our, click edit to create it and I'm gonna call it so we're gonna call this one client 3 and we're gonna use a the local mosquito broker so usually you probably be connecting to a different broker so you put a different address in here but I'm using the same one and that's it add I'm not going to configure anything else and I'm not even going to configure a topic because I don't really want to or need, don't need to publish with this to demonstrate it all I need to do is deploy it and when I deploy it and I go to the broker I should see two client connections so let's deploy it and it's deployed now I'm just going to go over to the broker and I'm going to stop the broker and then I'm going to restart it and I'm doing that because I just want to get rid of all the previous messages on the broker so we can see the connection messages coming in so let's start it and that we connected straight away so let's go over to the broker and take a look so this is our broker you can see here I started it here just up here and this is our first client connecting client 3 and we should see our second client connecting oh this it's up here actually test client there that's our first client that's the first one we configured and there's the second one I've actually stopped the broker again because I am using this broker for other purposes so there are other clients connecting to it you can see there's another one here that's connected to it so it, now our broker's receiving connections from those two clients we configured in in node red before we finish this video i just want to show you some something else is that these node here this is the published node and this is the subscribe node but they do share uh, one thing in common they're sharing a, a common client so if i go to this node here and i change some of the properties that are particular to the client connection then it will change it on the other one so let's change it now the keep alive time is 60 seconds now I'm going to change that to 120 seconds and that is a client connection property and I'm going to use use a clean connection or oh, sorry not use a clean connection and I just update that and done now if I go down to the subscribe client and edit it you can see that's configured exactly the same so let's just tick that box to make it use a clean connection again update it done now go back to the published one edit and you can see that's been updated now if I configure 
properties of this that are particular to the publish rather than to the the client connection and the retain message is particular to the publish then it's not going to affect the subscribe so if I click done and I go down here it doesn't affect this it doesn't affect this because the subscribe doesn't have a retain property so it's never going to affect that okay I'm just going to finish by finishing a little sensor and I'm going to drag another inject node into here wire it into our publish node and get it to publish a message and it's going to go on sensor we're going to call this close because it's going to publish the close message and I'm just going to put in close there so we've got one that publishes open and the other one that publishes closed and let's just deploy it and click on here and we see open and click on here and we see closed so that's a very very simple door type sensor publishing open and closed we could have it as a light sensor sorry a light sensor publishing on okay that's the the end of the video if you've got any comments then please leave them in the comment form below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you'd like to be notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel until next time bye